Hey guys, so I'm sitting here with Marsha. Now she's written four Dummies books. I'll let you introduce those. And she's also the host of her own radio show. Marsha, can you let them know what are the Dummies books you wrote and what is your radio show? Well, actually, I've written 35 for oh. Dummies books. <laughs> they are the four Dummies series oh, four dummies. on eBay and e-commerce. And I've been doing this for about 10 years. And I'm also a geek, so I host computer and technology radio on KTRB in San Francisco and on the web. Okay, and you have been doing social media for the past... 10 years, right? I mean, I social media as of I know it has been around for like three, five years. I don't know. So, so can you tell me what was it like 10 years ago in terms of using social media and interacting with people? Because you must have been a first mover then. Well, yeah, it didn't have a name then. We didn't call it social media. We just called it like connecting with my readers. And they would email me and I put my email address in all of my books. First book was written in 99. And people would email me with their questions, and I'd hear their stories, you know, like, we've just lost our job, what should we do? We're starting a new business, how should we go about it? And sometimes it just was they needed a pep talk. So there weren't platforms at the time for social media. I just kind of did it on my website, which, coolebaytools.com, which is a little sad website right now. But that was the hub of it, and I used to connect with people. That's great. And so can you tell me... Uh, in terms of entrepreneurship and startups, um, what advice can you give young entrepreneurs right now who really, let's say, want to build a, a business on eBay, right? I know it, it must be saturated now. Would you even advise anybody right now, maybe an undergraduate or a young professional who's like, hey, I just got laid off. Maybe I can start a business on eBay. Can you still do it right now? Well, not only eBay, because I would say that 80% of what's in my books, because a lot of my books are business books, apply to regular business. eBay is in the title because that's what sells. But the deal is, if you want to start a business, you have to not be afraid of working. You have to put the hours in. I mean, I've, I've had people coming to me and they say, well, I'm not marking up my shipping department enough because I'm not making minimum wage. And I said, but are you selling more? And they'd say, yes. I said, well, if you're selling more, then you're making more profit in another area. So for an entrepreneur, you have to look at the bottom line, the total money in, the percentage. You can't look at individual areas, and you have to go totally out. You have to do everything that needs to be done. You need to stay up at night. You need to, and do it legitimately. You know, a lot of people start selling on the internet, and they won't get their business licenses, and they won't get their state seller's permits. Um, it's not a game. Business is business, whether it's eBay or starting a company or whatever kind of business there is. So... Uh, I think you have some great advice, and I, I think it's so great that, that it's you know, business in general and how to start a great company. Um, I know a lot of startups are going to be watching this. What do you think is, is the key mistake that most entrepreneurs make when starting their first company? And you know, if you can identify this, then hopefully they will, they'll realize that and not do it. Paying a lot of high interest, high risk money. I know that's the thing to do. But if you can start with your own savings and you can control as much as you can just to start with till maybe you're somewhere or get a group of friends together and pull your own resources because once you start bar borrowing high interest money, you have to pay it back. And, you know, things may be rough for a while and you may be volunteering your time and you don't want to be working for the bank. That's true. That, that's so true. No, investors are great. But, you know, they have to be the sort of angels that understand the difficulties of a startup. And, uh, you know, writing for the Dummy series, I think that's amazing. I've read a bunch myself. Um, writers who are watching this, how can they get involved in such a big publication? I, I mean, how did you get involved? Was it just leveraging previous experiences? Was it getting an internship there? How do you break into something that big? Well, it was totally actually by accident. I became an expert, one of the first experts in the eBay field. So when they wanted the eBay for Dummies, luckily, I was the person they found. And I had a background in marketing and all that, so it brought me to the book. Plus, I always wanted to be a writer. But it seems that everybody wants to be a writer, and I think you should blog. I think you should practice. If you want to write, you need to write every day. That's so important. And become an expert on a subject. Okay, I know everybody's a social media expert right now. But, I mean, really be an expert. Find a niche. Find what makes you unique. If you want to write fiction, start serializing it on the web. Um, give the people one chapter, then sell the rest of them as podcasts. There are ways to make money. It's very hard to get into traditional publishing. Um, and my books are going electronic, and I love it. Um, I'm in seven languages, and I'm really lucky. 
but it takes a while to get there. But you gotta keep hammering at it. You gotta work at night. You can't be a prince or a princess about the whole thing. You gotta do, put in your hours, just like starting up a business. I love that advice. Um, I think it's excellent. Now, where can they find you right now? What's like your email address or your main website where they can find you? My online business card is www.marshacollier.com. That links to my radio show. It links to everything. You, you can find out anything you want about me there. All right, we'll put that up. Marsha, thank you so much for joining us. It was an absolute pleasure.